Hello my friends, this is Miguel Costa speaking and today this episode will be about this little camera here, the Arri Alexa and uh, I will show you what you can do and what you can do uh, do some uh, comparing between the red and why these cameras uh, even at 2K can produce better images than um, a good camera at 4K, 8K um, it has something to be with space fidelity. Uh, this episode will be a series of episodes about the Arri Alexa um, and the workflow and um, to show you how you can do several stuff and uh, going through the menus because uh, I've been seeing a lot of people trying to buy these cameras but they have a lot of questions about what the camera can do uh, can I output uh, 4k through the SDI can I do this that and this will help you for sure the um, for you to make the first move before you buying this little beast uh, they are all amazing cinema cameras and my cat he wants to go out so let's not play attention to my cat hello Pishka meow now we have an episode with meow very good very good so first thing first this is a Alexa with a sensor capable of capturing 16 bits of color but the raw file only record 12 bit and let's start by inserting a PL mount lenses this is a 37 for iron glass so let's insert the lens this is the PL mount let's loose the PL mount now we are going to insert the image cable in here because after you lock it will be very hard to put the cable so you remove the lens cover and you insert carefully the PL mount lens and lock it it's locked you see this little lever here will be in front of the cable now you insert the EVF uh, cable and we have successfully installed the PL mount lenses Now let's insert a battery. This camera is uh, equipped with a V mount battery. I'm using this sweet battery. Now that we have successfully mount the battery, let's insert the media. Let's talk about a uh, little bit about the media. This is the codex card. Uh, this is this is not a simple card like this one of red but one of the um, one of the um, curiosity is that the red, the Ari, they copy the the slot of the cards from red so you can see I can insert the red card into the Aria Alexa. Will it work? No. So, Aria Alexa, some say they are the best, but I think it will depend on the project that we have in hand, red or Ari. But I wonder why did they copy the this connector so red 
was invented first and Ari Codex in invented after, but they couldn't think a better connection than the red one. So the mount of these two cards, Red and Ari Alexa, are exactly the same. But don't make mistakes, they will not work. Inside of this card, the red, we have a simple one SSD chip card. Very cheap, low budget, whatever. By the way, it's like $20, $30 SSD. Inside of this, it's no different. You have a chip, we have versions with a codex SSD inside, you have versions with a cheap SSD inside. What is different? This is a normal SSD, this is a RAID disk. For the ones that don't, don't know what is RAID, RAID it's a cap uh, capability of um, putting together two disks and summing speed or capacity. So inside of the codex card you have two SSD, not one but two. Inside the RAID you have one SSD. When you record ProRes, the camera only use one SSD. So, for example, this is a 500 gigabytes card. When you record ProRes, it will, it will only detect 250. Yeah, 256. And inside this card, when you record RAW, the camera needs speed to put half of the file on one SSD, half of the file on the other SSD. So, as the camera needs speed, it will take a write disk to be faster. This camera is the XR version. Don't make a mistake because the normal Alexis they use SX Sony cards. So, if you think of buying one a real Alexa, first, you need RAW. If you need RAW, you need the XR version, the one that have a codex card. Because the other Alexa that only use SX Sony cards, they will not record RAW. The main difference that you'll see is the XR version has this bigger door to insert these bigger cards. The SX version does not have this. This was a very expensive upgrade to the camera. It costs around $10,000 to upgrade your Alexa to receive the, S, uh, the XR cards. So the upgrade was installing this new card mount and some boards inside. That board is no more no less than the Ahiro made by Codex. Codex already had in the past uh, raw recorders, so they put it inside your real Alexa. So if you want to insert media, you need to unlock the door on this button and press and slide this button here and hold the door not to open like bang. You insert the media with a codex facing outwards. You insert and you close it after you lock the door. For to prevent any kind of mistake. This is oh, this is the Codex reader. It uses a 12 volt uh, AC adapter and a USB 3. This here uses um, a lot of connections. It uses external SAT, uh, FireWire and normal USB. They are very um, strong build, all metal, so it's uh, the same 
Um, in terms of connection, once you connect this to your Mac, it always reconnect, recognizes uh, straightforward, very fast. This one connects, uh, the computer struggles a little bit to detect it, but uh, it will eventually. Um, um, as we see, how to insert media, battery and lenses and how to connect the EVF cable. Now let's see how we turn on the camera. So the turn, turn on, to turn on the camera, um, you turn on the camera by pressing this little blue button. It's the power button. You press it once and the camera will boot. The difference between big difference yeah let's check the focus yeah okay the big big difference this camera has several booters you have a boot for anamorphic as as uh, it will um, use only the the four third sensor um, oh my cat is struggling with something yeah so this camera will boot for a hole will boot for progress, will boot for anamorphic. If you change it, it will need to be restarted. It will take time. My cat, sorry. As I was going to say, to take a boot, it will take time. For my personal advice, if you are trying to buy a cinema camera to, to do your own productions without a big crew, I advise you to go to a red camera because in terms of uh, image quality, this will do some billions of colors, this will do like 283 trillion colors, so trillion billion. So it's do a lot of colors, a lot of dynamic range, and it's easy to use, very lightweight. And this camera is not a camera for small productions or a camera for you to do something on a small tripod. To you, to, for you to have an Arri Alexa, you have to good have a, a set of PL mounts. In, in the red, you can change it to Canon easily. I have the Canon, Titanium, I have the, um, the PL mount Titanium, I can change it easily. On the real Alexa, you have a native PL mount, very good, uh, the construction of this camera is amazing, but this is not a camera for you to use on your small productions or on uh, your... My cat is not letting me doing this episode, why? This camera was designed for a big crew, big production. And why? Because as you can see here, it has a lot of SDI, SDI one out, SDI two out, rec one out, rec two out. It has a lot of connections for external monitors, for video assists, for monitor, for the director, everything. And also have in here these three plugs. You connect it directly the follow focus motors, like one for the focus, one for the iris, one for the zoom. I don't know if it seems so. So this is for the focus, for the the middle one for the zoom, and the other one for the iris. So this this is a camera which was designed for a team. This camera has much less connectivity. It has one SDI, one HDMI, HDMI. This camera will not have HDMI. So if you're thinking, I will connect my HDMI monitor to this little camera. No, you will not because this is the one is doing all the noise. Yeah, all my noise. Oh. In terms of um, choosing one camera or another, 
it depends on what are you thinking about doing with these cameras. In my case, I am I have this um, rental company, a small one, that I provide solutions, just with uh, the red, with um, a real Alexa, with some other small cameras, gimbals, tripods, lightning. It's a small thing. Uh, even the the sound that I am uh, recording now, I'm using a uh, up here uh, a Neumann uh, shotgun microphone. It's wonderful. Uh, one of the best in the world. Um, I'm using some Sony FS2 to record this episode with the follow focus because sometimes I need to go on my face, sometimes I need to go on the camera, and sometimes I need to show you very closely this and come back to me. So it's not the camera that is doing focus, it is I am doing the focus. So sorry if sometimes the focus is not really sharp, but let's go back to the camera. We put it, the, uh, the EVF cable, the PL mount, the battery, we turn on the camera. Now we have some settings. We have, we have here the, the frame rate, 24p, shutter angle 172.8, white balance, and uh, ISO. And we have some color profiles. In the menu, in the recording menu internal, we can choose what we are recording. Like, I am recording ProRes 4444. This is the most wonderful codec. And we have resolution 2K. Oh, probably we are in like anamorphic let me check yeah we are on anamorphic on anamorphic you only do 2k um, let's change it this to a arrival so i changed it in the menu uh, recording internal recording mode arrival and it says booting, internally recording module. Booting, this takes approximately 20 seconds. Uh, let's wait. This camera, you can change from normal recording to uh, uh, anamorphic, change all resolutions. This camera only records raw, no progress, only on the newer versions. This is the... Um, this is one of the best cameras that uh, Red made on the first version. Uh, let's check it out. Now it's saying the card is not formatted for RAW. So one, on, one other thing, the card must be formatted to record RAW. And if you need to record ProRes, you need to reformat it. So it will say Press these two buttons to format. Now we'll say capture drive format finished. Max FPS Arriro 48 frames per second. It will give you a slow motion of two time. Now we go back and we go from full resolution to crop. So full resolution is like 2.8K. And some will say, oh, 2.8. It's no good. We have Blackmagic that do 4K. We have cameras that do 6K, 8K. Don't get wrong. Let's do the math. For k equal to 8 megapixel. 2.8K equal to 6 megapixel. 
So look, 2.8K, it's not so far from 4K. It's only 2, mil 2 million pixels. And what is 2 million pixels? It's one full HD. So we are far apart from 2.8K to 4K, like one screen of full HD, because 4K is four screens of full HD. When we say we have a television that is 4K, it's wrong. We don't have televisions that they are 4K. We have televisions, they are... When you say you buy a 4K television, it's wrong, you are not buying a 4K television. You are buying a 3.8K. So your TV, it's not even 4K. Because 4K, it's 4K DTI, it's like 4096. And the Ultra HD will do only 3800 and something. So let's do the math. This Ahi Alexa will record 2.8K, like 6 megapixels. And why is even better than a Blackmagic 6K? Let's see how much is 6K. More or less. 6K, it's more or less 19 megapixels. But why this camera with 2.8K or 3.4K in ProRes and 2.8K in RAW, why they are so amazing? And the, um, the truth is your phone, your normal camera has pixels. Let's draw you a pixel and another pixel. This is the magic. I will explain you very easily. Each pixel has one photoreceptor green here, another green here, one blue and one red. And the, the pixel side by side, they do exactly the same. So it's green, green, blue, red, everything. Some sensors can have this array a little bit different. Your phone, your normal camera, will read this RGB, RGB values and will produce one color. So the 4.2.0, this color sampling 4.2.0, will grab one pixel and produce one color. On the other side, one pixel one color. A better, uh, a better camera, uh, like a camera that can record 4.2.2, will do something slightly different. So let's green, green, red, blue. Green, green, red, blue. A better camera will record in a mode that will record 422. Now the, this pixel will send information and will in each pixel it will output two colors. So it will be, you see, imagine this is a pink but this photoreceptor is picking up more green so it will in each pixel, record one color here, one color here, so each pixel will record two colors.
Now, this camera can record ProRes. Four, 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 four. This camera can record 4444. Four, four, four. What matters for us is the, the first three fours, 444. Four, four. And now it's the magic, and that's why these cameras with 2.K, 2.0K, 2.8, 2K can do better image than your phone, they do 8K, 6K, 4K. Because remember, your phone for each pixel is picking up one color. Some better cameras will pick two colors by pixel. Green, 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 red, red, blue, blue. So this green, green, red, blue is like the RGB channels. So some cameras can change these RGB values up to 18 bit, uh, 8 bits, 10 bit, 12 bit, 16 bit recording. The Real Alexa is capable of recording for each pixel four colors. You'll do a color here, one ear, one ear, one ear. Now you're starting to understand why this camera 2K is better than a phone that shoots 8K. Imagine if this camera do, can do 3.4K at ProRes 4222, it's picking up four times more information than your phone at 8K. So if you do the math, it's a huge amount of color, more than your phone do at 8K, 16K, whatever. So this camera will do 444, it will record one color, four colors by each pixel. The last four, it's, um, I think is a, a two channel, um, a two 16 chan uh, bit alpha channel, like to, to send a, a transparency, a mask, if you want to send an image for a, a post-production, you only can send an image with a black mask or a white mask or something if the file is a 4444. If you don't have this 4, the transparency will not go in your image. It's important when you do some rotoscoping and you want to change the backgrounds, you need to have half a channels, so you need this last four. So remember, at 3.4K, the Real Alexa in progress will capture four more information than your phone at 4K that only record one color per pixel. This camera records four colors per pixel. When we are talking about a final file, like a, a dot move um, progress, when, when we are talking raw, it's completely different. It records every single chroma value of each sensor chroma and luma level of each photo sensor and uh, afterwards we can change the white balance because we can change these values because they are recorded without having a color. So the difference between ProRes and RAW, it's the in ProRes the pixel is giving you four colors, in RAW the camera is giving you zero, nil colors, no colors. It only reco records luma information. How many lumas were here, 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 here? After, in the bearing, the bearing, where you attribute your color, it will say this luma is related to a green sensor. This luma is related to a red, this luma is re related to a blue. That's why you need a codec. If you don't have a codec, the file doesn't know where are the RGB colors inside the, the, the pixel. So now you will start to think, oh, my phone is doing 8K, 4K. My phone is doing 4K, but the Real Alexa is doing more colors with 2.8K raw than my phone at 4K, yes. 
that it's called space fidelity. Space fidelity is how the information is organized. So this camera has more space fidelity than your phone, your normal camera. And a camera with um, um, a more space fidelity will be able to upscale from 2K to 4K, 8K, whatever, without losing quality. Like a, a phone or a, a consumer camera will not be able to do this. Um, one other thing, for example, on the red, when you zoom the image, you will never see a pixel. You'll see shades of colors because this camera can do 283 trillion colors. Um, now that I have explained you why these cameras can record such a great um, image, is because the simple through these cameras see more colors than your eyes and, and more than a consumer camera and the phone. Now let's see with this recorder, this is the Atmos recorder, let's stuck your battery. Oh, I need something. Hmm. One moment. Here I am. I have this Atmos Ninja V, Ninja 5, whatever you want, and I have this amazing little one SDI. Oh, SDI adapter. Let's install. It's very easy to install because this. Record as a smart connector on the bottom, you just slide it in and you're good to go. And let's turn on. Um, as I said first, this episode is uh, will be a series of, of episodes that I will be talking about cinema cameras, uh, showing you the menus, showing some images, uh, doing some comparing for you to decide which one suits you, one which one is better for you. Um, they are great cameras, but normally for my productions, when I'm alone or a friend, I will not take the Aria Alexa because it's a monster. Yeah, big one. Um, now, one question that normally I see people asking on the, on the YouTube channels and and uh, what this SDI will output. Let's see. Okay. Source. Let's change it to SDI. Yeah, you keep. We have the anamorphic mode. Let's go back and let's go to the project. So now I'm in anamorphic mode. I will change it to uh, standard mode. Uh, it will be. Uh, a ratio of 16 by 9. We go to the menu, we go to the project, we press it, we go to the sensor mode, it will say 4 third for the anamorphic unit, 4 third, let's press it and let's change it to 16 9. And now is where this camera gets very weird because when you change the sensor mode, you need to force 
a shutdown on the camera because the camera cannot shut down. You need to restart the camera again. So it's a professional cinema camera that you need to force a shutdown like a stuck computer. Let's press the, these two buttons, it's load. And we'll say initializing 16 by 9 mode. Do not turn the camera power off during update. So when you change from 4 thirds to 16 by 9, it's like booting up a completely different camera. It's not just uh, changing something in the menu. In fact, it's like to have two cameras inside of one. And now, it will say, press and hold the power button until the camera shuts down. That's the bizarre part. So this is a very expensive camera, professional camera. Now, while you don't shut it, the fan is eating, it's popping up. So it's, this is a professional camera, this is a very expensive camera, and you change from 4 thirds to 16 by 9, you need to force a shutdown like an old stuck computer. That's true, that's the Arial Alexa. So, but no problem, let's force the shutdown. Let's press the power button. So it's nothing wrong with the camera, it's the way it is. So it says, force your shutdown. Now you turn on the camera and the camera will boot up with aspect ratio from 16 by 9. And after that I will show you what you can output through these SDIs. Don't think that you can output more than 2k, yeah. Let's see it. Let's wait a little bit. Mm -mm. It takes a little bit. No problem. Yeah, I have image on my EVF. I have image on my monitor. Okay. Now I will show you what I am using to record my episode. Now let's see. Oh, so it's saying um, twenty four frames per second. Progress two by two by two. Uh, and what about resolution? Um, Yeah, amazing image. I love the image. Yeah, it's wonderful. These iron glasses, these lenses are really sweet. Now let me check the resolution without Trying up record. Hmm. Very strange. Where is strange? Let's hit record and stop. Let's go to playback and see okay hmm 
So as it say, it is recording HD. So for me HD is like not even full HD. So it's like 700 and something. So when you go to the monitor output, it only, let's format it. Now we can record ProRes. 444 at 60 frames per second uh, and let's see the resolution recording internal and resolution change it from in um, 16 by 9 this camera can record uh, in ProRes 4444 it can record HD so HD is like a, a full HD it's and um, 1920 by 1080 you can record 2k and can record 3.2k so let's choose 3.2k let's go back let's see how many frames per second we can record so at 3.4k in progress 444 we can record 30 frames per second no more than that um, Let's see in high speed mode if you can shoot more. Because this camera still is really a pain in the S word. Um, you change it to high speed to gain access to the other frame rates and you need to boot the camera. Really annoying. Set mode. Now let's see we have 100 and yeah we have 120 frames per second that's impressive 100 and let's see at what resolution let's go to menu recording internal so if you want to do 120 frames per second it only record HD like full HD. So through this connector to the recorder, you are capable of recording HD. No more than that. So you have monitor out, you have rec out, what you can see in rec out. Same thing, HD 24p. We have like another monitor out and we have another breakout so this camera can output um, this camera can output four different signals so monitor one monitor two rec out one rec out two this is important because uh, you want to send a, a he log um, to a monitor and you can send a rec 709 to another recorder you can to a monitor you can send different images to different um, monitors or recorders i don't know this episode is long but i think it's worth it for the ones that want to buy an Ori alexa i'm almost finishing this episode i will bring you more um, as you can see on my channel I've been doing a lot of videos showing a lot of cameras talking uh, a lot about the red camera um, now I want you to understand how this camera works and um, it will help you for sure to make a decision if you have the money if it is the camera for you or not if you want the raw or not this camera has all the license. One of the things, Ari, you need to have a license for high speed, one license 
for raw, one license for anamorphic. In the red cameras, they put it all, they don't charge you any license. You have full access to everything. Raw, anamorphic, high speed, whatever you want. By the way, this can do 4K at 150 frames per second. 4K. You can do in wide mode in 6K, you can do 100, 100 frames per second. If you want to do really slow motions, very, 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 very slow, this is the camera. Um, so this camera, when you choose an Unreal Alexa, you need to know if you want high speed, you need to know if you want anamorphic, you need to know if you want um, the RAW. So you have high speed, anamorphic and RAW. Remember, if the Unreal Alexa only accept SX Sony cards, we, it will not record RAW. So this one is the Unreal Alexa Plus 4.3. But this is the XR version with the XR cards. So you can have an Unreal Alexa 4.3 Plus but with the SX Sony cards. It's up to you. Um, does this camera has false color and all these um, pickings and uh, magnifying? Yes, it has. On the viewfinder you have false color, you have all, all the gadgets that you love. There's only one thing that this camera has that I would love this camera to have. It's the capability of grabbing one still, like one picture. You grab one picture and after, if you, might, you want to make a... Um, imagine, you're, do, you're shooting a, a video that you want to frame a person exactly on the same position in a different scenario. You can overlay a picture taken by the camera and grab here with the image that you are seeing right now. So imagine, you've been seeing videos that you have a person walking and the background is cha changing from uh, a landscape of a forest, a landscape of a beach, a landscape of a park, and the person is always on the same frame. How you do it? You do it with a monitor that can overlay images, so you can position your camera and the person in the exactly same spot, or you can do it with a real exit with this function grab and then overlay on what you are seeing the picture that you've taken before. This is amazing when you need to put the camera exactly with the same frame, the same position. You can overlay and put everything on the top of each other and rolling. So imagine you are shooting today and you need you, you need to continue your shot tomorrow, but you need to take all the camera, grab, take everything out. On the next day, you are able to position your camera exactly the same way it was on the day before, because you take a picture on the day before, on the day after, you do the overlay. It's really, really simple. This camera has it, this camera don't. Um, I've done a, a, a movie that was on a cinema festival in Lisbon, Motel X. Motel X is not uh, pornographic, no. It's uh, Motel X is a horror movie uh, cinema festival, and we did it with Alexa. Uh, I do a lot of music videos. I have one coming out of my band that I play guitar that I did with the Red, and one anamorphic gadget that I built that I will show you in a further episode. It's amazing when the video comes out in a, in a week or two, I will show you the results of this camera with a gadget anamorphic, with a real anamorphic lenses made by myself. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. I will be glad to, to help you to make your um, to, to choose your camera. Um, please help me to support my channel, give it a like, 
please subscribe. Um, it's not. Um, it will. It will not hurt you. Just hit the button below. Subscribe. Give it a like, and stay tuned because I will bring more episodes about these cameras. So if you like um, these ecosystems from the the red, the Arilex high hand cinema cameras, I'm the person to to explain to you. And by the way, um, that's all. So remember, one very important this card can go inside this camera. It will fit perfectly. The mount is the same, but it doesn't work. Okay? Um, see you soon. Bye bye. Thumbs up. Don't forget, please subscribe for me to get uh, your episodes to you. One more thing. How to turn off the camera? I forgot that. It's really annoying. You don't have a button. You, you need to hold the power button. So in the red, you go, you press shutdown. And after shutdown, twice. On the real X, you need to hold the button. It will start a countdown and poof, shutdown. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe, please.